waiting for Boris Johnson. With me now is Michael Fabricant, Conservative MP for Litchfield. Michael, thank you very much for joining me. Now, you have been in the past, anyway, a very vocal supporter of Boris Johnson. Is there not a sense that he led you all down the garden path at the last time that there was some kind of leadership election, no, and you went out and backed him and then actually he rode back on it? Would you, would you follow him up the hill again? Well, <laughs> I don't think the time is right, and I don't think that uh, Boris thinks the time is right either. I mean, I do think it's a bit funny with the Ukrainian war going on and all the rest of it, that we're all obsessed with the fact that Boris is going to the Carlton Club, a place I wouldn't be seen dead in, by the way, uh, merely to open, uh, uh, unveil a painting of himself. Well, would you, would you not, would you not go turn up? Even, I mean, it's about time someone made a portrait of you, I think, and unveiled you somewhere at the uh, at the Carlton Club. But no, look, do you think realistically Boris Johnson might be should be focusing more on keeping his own seat as opposed to whether or not he runs in the next general election or, um, or sorry, runs for Tory leader again? I should say. Well, he's going to have a tough time in, in uh, Uxbridge. I mean, it was always a very, very difficult uh, seat. Very good friend of mine called John Randall was the MP for Uxbridge. And he had a great advertisement because he used to own a family department store called Randalls of Uxbridge. In fact, I didn't think you were going to ask me that question, but he gave me a present. Oh, there we are, a Randalls of Uxbridge. Let's go and have a look at, back at Michael. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Randalls of Uxbridge uh, truck. Anyway, but uh, John Randall was saying it's very, very tough there. And um, I guess Boris will find it hard going. But I think he's allowed to go to... Uh, the Carlton Club okay. to unveil a picture Yes, of course of he is. Now, d rather disappointingly for, I would imagine, Conservative MPs, correct me if I'm wrong, there hasn't really been a Rishi Sunak bounce, has there? And is that a concern for you, looking at the gem next general election? Well, uh, undoubtedly, you know, that uh, uh, when Boris left, we were 10% down. And as John Curtis said a little earlier, on your channel, GB News. Uh, it went down now to 20%, maybe even a little bit more. But you know, we're going in the middle of strikes when we're looking at all this. And you ask somebody a question, which is, you know, if there were a general election tomorrow, how would you vote? It's so hypothetical, because everyone knows yeah. there isn't going to be a general election tomorrow. There's certainly no enthusiasm for Keir Starmer. Nobody knows what he stands for. Uh, when you look at uh, also the question about you know, who could handle the economy better, it's still the Conservatives, they feel, yeah, despite I, everything. I do wonder, I just, I just really do wonder whether or not some people on your benches look around now and think, I was so out of touch and so wrong to have wanted to biff Boris. Uh, but there we go, we'll have to wait and see. Michael, thank you very much. I think much. they were Michael completely Fabricant. mad to do that. Yeah. I think they yeah. were completely mad to do that. Uh, a, because, you know, he he was, people respect him. He had a mandate because he had been selected by the membership of the party. And, you know, well, people what? Voted he, for him as well. Yeah, That's exactly right. right. He was very, very attractive guy to the electorate, despite yeah. all his faults, because yeah. he was a visionary. Well, yeah. And some would argue, actually, maybe because of his flaws as well. But that's a conversation for another time. Michael, thank you very much. Michael.